His given name was Abdul Jandali the day he was born, February 24th of 55. At a San Francisco hospital, his mother would decide that adoption was the best for him to thrive. The mother and new parents, Paul and Clara, signed the forms over happy tears, perhaps regretful sobs. They decided on a name to call him. Steve would be their choice and assume the father's family name of Jobs. In school, Steve was a loner, very smart. He skipped a grade. He met Steve Wozniak at Homestead High. Later, they designed and sold blue boxes for free calls, which made the Wozniak Jobs team solidify. For a while, he lived a hippie life, tried drugs in India. In 76, Apple Computer, now their name. That name came from a commune orchard where he'd spent some time. The Apple won a circuit board still far from fame. They raised some funding and together made the Apple II an all-inclusive unit that became the rage. The two Steves were now millionaires, though Jobs the man in front by 84. The Macintosh now set the stage. The CEO was Scully and Jobs headed Macintosh. A rift grew over profitability. Jobs wanted the Mac discounted and Scully he did not. In 85, Jobs left Apple regrettably. In 86, he funded spin out Pixar, you may know. 10 million for their independent urge. Two decades later, Disney paid him 7.4 billion. There was even talk Disney Apple might merge. In 89, he met Lorene. In 91, they wed and had three children, Reed, Aaron, and Eve. Lisa, born in 78, was Jobs' other child, while her mother, Chris Ann, was still dating Steve. Jobs founded next to made workstations and later software. Berners Lee used one to make the World Wide Web. Twelve years later, nearly bankrupt Apple bought next to get Jobs. He returned and brought them out of their low ebb. Through his teams, he made the iMac product. Branding was supreme. In 01, the iPod, MacBook, in 06. The iPhone, iPad, and iTunes simplified our lives. The App Store created millions of addicts. In 03, pancreatic cancer, Steve's diagnosis. For nine months, alternative meds he tried. Sadly, his condition worsened for the next eight years. On October 5th of 11, Steve Jobs died. Jobs was brilliant and impatient and a bully, some would say. His demanding nature pressed to innovate. But he led his teams to create the impossible to do And Steve changed the world at an incredible rate